Hello, my name is Zoe McKay and I'm a PhD researcher here at UCD Lions Estate. As part of my PhD, I work on the Dairy Tech project. This project is sponsored by seven different industry partners, of which Glambia is one of them. My part in this project is to investigate the effect of different supplement types to dairy cows in the autumn that are in late lactation. Aside to this, I want to look at how we can improve milk quality and processability at this time of the year, which is a seasonal issue. In typical Irish grass-based systems, where dairy cows calve in the springtime in a compact 12-week um, period, these cows move through and enter into late lactation at the same time. And at this time of the year, grass quality is poorer and the milk quality and the processability of that milk is poorer. So the experiment that we've designed here is looking at four different supplement types. The first treatment has 12 cows and they're offered grass only and they're what's called a negative control. The second treatment are being offered three kilos fresh weight of a commercial barley based diet, which is typical of what might be fed at this time of the year. The third treatment, we're looking at feeding oats, which is um, a homegrown feed and hopefully will impact on the fat content of the milk. And our fourth treatment is an oat based diet that has a high level of vitamin E. And the hope here is to improve um, the, the, the quality of the milk and some of those processability parameters that would improve the quality of products produced at the time of the year that the industry is, is currently looking for and that consumers are demanding. So at the minute, it's a really busy week here in Lyons. I'm carrying out what's called an intake run. And an intake run is basically where I'm trying to determine how much grass the cows are actually eating. And what we use is a well-known technique called the alkane technique to, deter to determine this. So basically what's involved over a 12-day period, the cows are bolused with what's called an al with what's called alkanes. And that's a known level going into the cows. For the last six days of the, the two weeks, we collect faecal samples in the field from each individual cow. And based on the, the known level of alkanes going in and the level of alkanes detected in the faeces, I can determine the dry matter intake of each of these cows on the experiment. So as my trial has been carried out in the autumn, autumn grass management is really important. Reason number one, we want to maximise the amount of grass in the cow's diet. But reason two, we want to ensure we have covers and good grass going into the spring next year. So with that, every week the grass, and the grass is measured here using the plate meter for, um, and for total, total farm cover. Also with the, with the trial, I take pre and post grazing measures. I use the plate meter and I use a quadrant and shearers to, to determine um, grass, grass covers and I keep the samples used taken by the quadrant for quality parameters. So I look at those in the lab for their uh, protein and their water soluble carbohydrates and dry matter content. So for me, a typical week here starts on Monday morning with body condition scoring of all the cows. On a Monday afternoon I take milk samples and a Tuesday morning take milk samples. These samples are going to be pooled on a per yield basis and they're analysed for your full composition. The other parameters that we're looking at are things like detailed calcium analysis, reddit coagulation and milk pH. And these are the parameters that are of interest in late lactation to improve the quality and the processability of that milk. So we're currently only in the second week of this experiment and we have a further 10 weeks to go. So it'll be further updates down the line on the research carried out here at Lyons.